to it. So this for the demonstration is threshold. So typically um, white goods, anything like that, when you're coming in and out of the house where the damage occurs. Some call it a step, but this is a threshold. Shouldn't use it as a step, but it does get used. Just give you a closer look at this. Before I do any filling on this, I need to remove all this loose and damaged. So I've got a very coarse file, almost like a rasp. Now I can just remove that wood. When you finish with your file or your rasp, it should look like that. Then with a 60 grade sandpaper, you want to remove any rough edges from around here. Concentrate on any wood that's furred up. And then with a 120 grade, just generally go over the whole surface and work in this area as well. After the sanding, you should be left with something like this. Nice and smooth edges. And using my brad oil, I want to create a series of holes just along where the wood is exposed. I've already started doing it there. And then generally across the whole surface. So literally just pushing it into the timber a bit. And when you're finished, it should look something like that. Right up to the edge. This is prepped and ready for filling now. Um, because this is a threshold, then I am going to be filling this outside and mixing this outside this is quite strong. Um, put a bit of filler onto a board and the bit of the hardener that should be plenty. Mix this up Being relatively quick with this, I'm going to press it in first, make sure you work it in. Okay, get some filler in. Slight downward motion there. And then again, working back in. I'll tap this one down. And I'll just need to leave that, let it go hard. Once this is dry, 120 on a block, rub this down. Once you dust this off, repeat the filling process again. That's the second layer of filler sanded back. It takes about 30 minutes for this to dry. So one more layer of filler, light sand, and then it's ready for painting. That's had its last fill. Now 180 on the block again, get a final sand. The repair complete. That's looking pretty good. So 
So those holes that are created along the edge will create an area of a foundation for this to anchor into. So that's looking good. Seamless repair there. Just get it painted. Spot a filler just there on the underside where I was doing the repair. And that is absolutely perfect. Wouldn't even know it had been damaged. 